Hey, we back! I'm on Karuta once again, and today we're talking about Koibitos. Uh, now, Koibitos are a part of the visiting uh, and dating game, basically, on the side Karuta, um, but they can have a pretty reasonable effect on the game. I've briefly mentioned them before on my videos, or on visits, uh, at least, maybe on dating as well. Um, and you probably know a little bit about them already, at least. Uh, if you have a uh, KLU of uh, any particular character, or I don't know who we can pick, for example, Rem. Rem's always a good example character. Um, you can see it says their Koibito here, and it pings, pings a user. Um, I don't know who this user is. I may have mutual servers with them, I may not. It could be anyone on the bot. Um, but as you can tell from this, each character can only have one Koibito. Uh, this is pretty important, uh, because of course if you want to be the Koibito of your favourite character, uh, you're going to be fighting, in theory, everyone else on the bot for it. That makes getting Koibitos on more popular characters more difficult. Um, but if you are the Koibito of a character, it gives you quite a few nice little perks. Um, these include uh, trimming characters, which is an extra cosmetic. Um, this includes... Um, setting aliases for characters if they have aliases. Uh, this includes making them immune to work injuries, uh, visiting cards that uh, you did not grab of, of that character, um, other such things. Uh, so it's pretty helpful. One of the main reasons that a lot of people go for Koibitos is for the Koibito services that they can offer people. And these are some typical prices that you uh, might expect-ish um, of uh, the, the different Koibito services. You can see we've got Trim Drop, Alias Change, Toughness Increase, Massage, and Cheer Up. Uh, the Toughness Increase is an interesting one because, of course, like I mentioned, a Koibito can visit a card um, of the uh, any card of the character, um, whether they grab them or not, which means that they can increase the toughness uh, by using their uh, AP, affection points, um, and if you did not grab the card that you're wanting to increase toughness on, you won't be able to do so. Um, so yeah, there you go, that's the kind of services that you can get for them, um, which is pretty nice in general. Um, as a Koibito, if you're getting a lot of people ordering Koibito services, it's some, some pretty free tickets, pretty much. Um, so the question is how to get Koibitos and how to get lots of Koibitos. Uh, now, of course, like I said, there's a balance between going for uh, the uh, the high-ranked characters that everyone wants because they're going to be very competitive. Uh, we have K Leaderboard or KLB, um, and I can look up the leaderboard of a certain character here and, and see how competitive it is. The first thing that you're going to want to do if you want to get lots of Koibitos is check how competitive the leaderboard is. You can immediately see here that the leaderboard for them is very competitive. First First of all, there is at least 50 players trying to get Koibito. If we go to the back of the list, number 50 is on 117. Uh, what you can tell from this is that there is a lot of people trying to get Rem Koibito. Uh, the next thing that you may notice um, is all of these cars. These car symbols are actually really important. Uh, what they mean is whether the character can date or not. Uh, if you're unsure about dating, check out my video on that. Uh, but dating is the main way that you're going to get AP and you're going to get AR. Uh, so you want to be dating as much as possible on a character that you want to get Quibito. That means if there's a lot of people that do not have the green car symbol, that means they are dating. So other than this person in ninth here who has not used their green car recently, all of these people have dated Rem in the last 10 hours, as in they're all trying to get Koibito. Uh, some of them have been rejected. Many of them do not have the ring at the moment. You need the ring to become Koibito. Uh, so if they do not have the ring, that implies, at least to me, that they've probably lost Koibito recently, um, rather than not got the ring yet. And finally, if you're completely unsure, you can go into the official server, have a look at the Koibito activity channel, search up your character and see how often they change Koibito. You can see Rem here changed. Well, for me, this was earlier today, and then one yesterday, the day before, uh, a couple of days before that, then, the, <laughs> then 12 hours before. Uh, so all in all, Rem is changing Koibito very frequently, as you would probably imagine. 
Um, now, of course, if you can get them as Coibito, you're probably going to have a lot of people asking for Coibito services. But on the other hand, you're not going to keep it for very long. Um, so it's up to you who you go for Coibito for. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing you want to, to check. How easy is it to get Coibito? Uh, personally, I would rather go for a lot of lower uh, Coibitos and make a bit of a collection. Um, you're going to want to get used to using the kafl command just generally for visits, uh, to be fair. And this is going to show all of the people that you have visited in the past. You've got some AR on. As you can see, I'm the Coibito of a few people now. I've got Ryuzu, I've got Miyano, and I've got Yuki Nagato. Um, I'm still trying to get Ryuzu up. I want to try and get her as close to 200 as I can. I think that's going to be fun. Uh, Yuki, I want to continue getting up just because this isn't very high AR. If you want a solidly safe keep on a Coibito, I would say pick someone that doesn't have too much competition and then try to get 190 AR. That's what I I've been doing. Uh, so for example, if I have a look at the leaderboard on Yuki Nagato, you can see that there's practically no competition here at all. No one's using the Greek green car symbols, uh, except for me, of course. Uh, and there's only 13 people on the leaderboard at all. Uh, so it's not difficult to get this Koibito. Uh, once I get up to 190 AR, the same as I managed to do with Miano, I'll probably just stop visiting uh, Yuki um, and determine that, that that one's a safe keep. Um, so yeah, if you want to go for a lot of Koibitos, you probably want to aim for the lower ones. Uh, it's not that Yuki is completely unknown, of course. She's from uh, Haruhi, uh, if you don't know her, and she has about 60 wish lists. So it's, it's not it's not unknown at all, um, but yeah, going for characters like this, you're probably going to get some Koibitos quite easily. If you go for the really low wish list characters with zero or one wish lists, uh, there's actually a pretty high chance that they don't have a Koibito at all, uh, and then you can get it really early on, right after, uh, right after you hit 80 AR and move straight onto another one. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have a huge list of Koibitos for the low ranked characters, um, and all just have you know 80 AR are and that's it i would not be surprised at all um but yeah so that's like i say the balance do you want to get uh, a lot of koibitos or do you want to get one koibito for a short time and that's what that is so in order to actually get the koibito you're going to need to have the little ring symbol here like i mentioned you get that during the dates um, and you're going to need to have a high ar compared to the current koibito uh, now this depends on time as well so if uh, the current koibito only just became the current koibito you're going to have to have a much higher ar than them in order to get it whereas if they've been koibito for a long time and they they haven't been dating and such for a while for example uh, then you can probably come in and snipe it from the quite easily even without having as much AR as them. Um, it's all dependent on percentage chance and it gives you this percentage chance before you actually uh, go to try and date them. Uh, so for example if I have a look at the leaderboard for Yu Otisaka, this one is a, a fair bit more active. You can see 36 people on this one and there's quite a few that are using the dating car. Uh, it's not nearly as many as the REM leaderboard um, but in general there are quite a few here that are trying to go for you Autozac. I managed to mess up and accidentally use my visit wrong, so I can't actually do that right now. Uh, but trust me when I say that uh, last time I checked on you, I think I had something like a 30% chance of taking the current Koibito, uh, because this uh, this guy here is a, a fair bit ahead of me, 13 AR, and, and when you get to this close to 200, 13 AR is a big difference. Uh, not to mention the fact that he's not been the Koibito for that long, uh, so I would have for probably wait for a while before I've got much of a chance um, and more likely this person here is going to try and take it from him since they're much closer and have a lot of AP saved up. Uh, I think it's going to be a while before I manage to get to you uh, but this is the other important thing when you're going through a Koibito you need to stick at it for as long as possible um, because you cannot expect to suddenly get in here on the leaderboard and then get to the top straight away. Uh, you're going to need to keep slowly working your way up until you've been working for it longer than anyone else, um, or at least more actively than anyone else. Uh, and then you're able to get uh, the Koibito pretty easily. Um, you can convert all of your AP into AR using certain actions. And so if you save up all of your AP like this person is doing here, um, then you can probably spend it all in one go and get up to first on the leaderboard 
Lord uh, very suddenly, get ahead of everyone, and then become the new Koibito. That's generally the strategy that I would go for if I were you. Uh, something else about the Koibito changing is that uh, when it does change, it pushes everyone else on the leaderboard down. Uh, so this is very good for the new Koibito. Uh, if you do save up all your AP and, and get into first and then become the new Koibito, not only do you now have more AP than everyone else uh, significantly, but everyone else has gone down in AP, so you get a nice lead. You're probably going to keep it for a little while. Now, of course, on a super competitive leaderboard, everyone's going to be doing this. They've probably all got a lot of AP. Uh, like when we looked at Rem's one earlier, you can see how much AP everyone at the top of this leaderboard has. Um, it's not going to work as easily, uh, but on the uh, medium tier leaderboards like this, there's plenty of people that don't have too much AP, and so this kind of strategy will work very well. That's uh, not good, however, for someone that's trying to work their way up. So, for example, me on this leaderboard, like I said, I'm in fifth at the moment. I'm slowly working my way up. Um, every time the Kobito changes between these couple of people at the top, it pushes my AR further down, despite the fact that I don't really have anything to do with the Kobito changing myself. Uh, this makes grinding closer up to the leaderboard harder and harder on the uh, more popular characters, uh, which obviously makes it a lot harder to get them in the first place. So on the more popular characters, not only uh, are you not going to keep the Koibito for very long, but it's also a lot harder to get to the top. Now this of course makes sense because everyone at the top has been trying to get that Koibito for longer than you, so it's perfectly understandable. Uh, but that's something uh, worth taking note of, uh, and this is why I wonder if maybe it is better to go for a lot of uh, lower ranked ones. Of course, if you go for the lower ranked ones, no one's going to be buying your Koibito services. So, as, as I said at the start, it's a big trade-off, um, and it's up to you what you do. Uh, personally, I think I'm probably going to stick with the, the lower rank Koibitos now, uh, just because it's a lot less effort, um, and if you know anything about me and my endeavours in Madei, uh, getting a lot of uh, Koibitos or their equivalent in Madei, which is soul lists, is pretty much what I went for. Um, and so it's no surprise that I'm doing the same thing on here. Um, but it's all up to you, and of course if your favourite character is someone really popular, you just want to get Koibito on them, then that's perfectly reasonable. You go ahead and do that. Um, however, as for tips for going for more popular characters, it is something to uh, point out that you really need to be going for them uh, as often as you can. Uh, so I mentioned this KAFL command. This is going to give a nice summary of uh, what you're looking at here on all your characters. It'll show you green car symbols, how much energy you've got, how much AR and AP you've got, all the rest of it so you can decide who to visit. You want to be paying attention to this because you don't want to just stick on one character all the time. That doesn't help you at all. You just get one energy every hour and then you just spend it. You're only getting the one energy every hour. If you swap between two people, for instance, you get one energy every hour on here, and then you swap to this person, use up all five, and then by the time you swap back to this person, they've, they've only gained the two energy, so you can just keep using them, right? By this way, you're now getting two energy per hour for the two characters, but you're still using it all. So you just straight up get more energy. So the more people you visit, the more energy you're stacking up. But there is, of course, a limit to this because there's a max of five energy. So once you're visiting like three people or so, you're not getting any more energy by visiting more people. Uh, so I would not advise visiting more than about three people if you are going for those top characters. Now, personally, I am visiting more than three people because I'm more concerned about the dates. The dates is the more optimal way uh, to get AR and AP, and so therefore I don't really concern myself with the energy too much, uh, because I just kind of want the dates, I want to get as much on as many couches as possible, as fast as possible. And yeah, sure, maybe I'm not concentrating on Rico here as much as I could be, because I've got five energy and the, the date ready, and I, I haven't visited them yet, but at the end of the day it doesn't matter too much, because no one else is going for Rico anyway. Whereas if you are going for one of those competitive characters, you're going to be wanting to be on them as much as possible. Um, and so simply letting a character sit for a minute with energy spare um, is going to be the difference between you getting Koibito, someone else getting Koibito. Uh, so you really want to make sure you're staying on top of that if you can. Of course, real life does also get in the way and you'll often find that your dates will get, will get readied up overnight or something like that. Uh, so you can't do everything about it all the time, but that is my advice. So. 
I will end this video here, I think. Uh, I think I've gone over everything that Kobitos do. Um, I didn't touch too much upon the Kobito services. I may do a separate video on them, or they may be self-explanatory. I was thinking about doing a video on trims at some point, maybe demonstrating some. Uh, if you do have opinions, let me know. Um, but uh, I'll see what happens. Uh, for now, though, yeah, I'm going to end this one here. Bye!